Hello there. My name is Arindam and in this video I will show you the absolute best possible way you can get the artifact of the devourer from the northern ice cave on the center map in 2021. So let us begin. First of all the coordinates of this cave is here and as you can see I am going to run this cave without any of my armor. So I am going to do it completely naked. In fact, just to prove my point, let me just put these things there and I have nothing on me except my otter. As you can see, the otter is used to carry multiple artifacts and the otter is also going to be used by me to provide me all the insulation I need. For this to happen, the otter needs to be heavily specced in melee damage and I have used an X otter instead of a regular otter because the X otter actually gives uh, ac actually has more points into melee versus a normal otter. Now for this particular cave you would have needed a scuba tank because there is a significant portion of the cave which is underwater. I am not going to be using a scuba tank at all. And you also need a really powerful mount for the cave because there are really powerful creatures like Alpha Gigantopithecus or as you know as Yetis. So I'm just going to be using this guy and instead of a scuba tank, I'm going to be using this guy, a Diplocolus. So let's see how we get the artifact of the devourer. Even though it's freezing here, that doesn't really bother me. Now in this entrance chamber, I need to now go down. There is supposed to be a lot of mobs here, but I don't know why they are not present. Anyway, I would hop down here, dismount my dino and put my diplocolus. Where is it? Anyway, there is a diplocolus. My diplocolus allows me to ride without using any oxygen. As you can see, it is completely specced in oxygen and I also am not consuming any oxygen of my own. Now, in this cave, there are two artifacts. If you take this direction, you will get the artifact of the cleaver, which I will cover in the next video. And here, you are going to get the artifact of the devourer. As you can see, by putting points into oxygen stat, my Diplocolus is really fast. By the way, this is a wild creature. Completely wild. And we have come to the central part of the devourer part. So, all I'm going to do now is park my Diplocolus here. and try to not get stuck like that there you go as you can see there are lots of creatures and yetis will actually aggro onto me even though i'm so i'm going to be using my cloak ability this is my stamina drake from aberration which i had used for collecting drops on the surface and as you can see it is specked in stamina and we have already gotten our drop because the rock drake is an apex predator none of these creatures except the yeti is going to aggro onto it because the yeti is actually classed as an alpha predator it's actually an alpha gigantopithecus anyway if I have to get this artifact now, I will need to kill these bulls or at least aggro them. So let's just do that. Okay. Coast is clear. Let's just put this artifact here and stop myself from freezing. Again, with the water on. I have enough insulation now I need to go back 
so this is one big cavern you can use to actually traverse i'm going to show you the entire cavern and i'm going to do it with cloak mode on because i do not want the yetis to unnecessarily aggro on me a loot drop actually spawns somewhere on the top of that part and another loot drop is probably spawned somewhere at the top here As you can see, my cloak will work fine, but only if I do not touch any of the yetis. Unfortunately, that is what I have done. And yetis are aggroed onto me, but that's not a problem. I'm now going to put my Bibliocolus and we're going to go back. So it should be this direction and I need to turn the camera down. So we have come to the entrance already. Let me again put my... Salamander out and jump back into my drake and we have already reached the entrance. Now one thing I I have to tell you is the rock drake is considered an apex predator so it is not getting aggroed by anything else. The rock drake also allows you to climb onto different walls, do the dash ability and also specifically for the yetis it will allow you to cloak yourself like this and the cloak if you do cloak it will still be pretty fast unlike the shadow main whose cloak ability will slow it slow it down now then we have reached the end and as you can see we have our artifact and we did not lose any health pretty simple video and okay so in the next video i'm going to show you this entire cave run but for the artifact of the clever and uh, since i used a rock drake and a naked method for this i'm going to show you in different videos this entire cave done completely alone without using any tames no otter no drake no deep colors nothing just me completely alone and that will be separate videos so for that stay tuned and thank you for watching.